Morning everyone, um, out for my morning walk with my highly disobedient dog, Blue. There. Watch him go off the lead. Ready? One, two, three, go, 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 go. So uh, I thought I'd do a quick um, update on why bother with bespoke psychometric tests. Um, and I guess the short answer is a lot of the time I wouldn't advise bothering with bespoke psychometric tests. There's a raft out there that are well validated, trialled, piloted to the nth degree, individual differences investigated, etc. Um, from many reputable uh, off-the-shelf test publishers. However, sometimes it is worth coming up with something a little bit special. And uh, I guess the reasons for that could be that you've got a sp particular view on what cluster of personality traits best encapsulates your theory around something. So that could be around what it takes to be a good leader. It could be about um, what it takes to behave online in a risk conscious manner. It could be around a specific combination of reasoning and personality that you think will help people to adapt to the fourth industrial revolution. And rather than piecing together a patchwork quilt of other psychometrics, none of which precisely measure what you're looking for, um, why not build something that's specifically made to target what you're after? It'll be quicker, it'll be more face valid, um, it will give you the output report precisely that you need, and it will be yours. And I guess that's another reason, is that um, you will own the intellectual property. Now, for um, if you're a consultancy firm, and obviously this is attractive because it means that uh, you get 100% of revenue from that product. Um, but even if, well, and also I guess when it comes to exit, you, you own the IP. But even if it's in-house, um, whilst there is a greater initial outlay uh, in designing the psychometric in the first place, you then have something you own in perpetuity and the ongoing costs could be significantly smaller. I guess another reason for building a bespoke psychometric Quick dog check before I do. Ah, okay, let's give him a moment's privacy. Um, could be that you want something that's more face valid. So just like a situational judgment test might give you an insight into some of the uh, behaviors that you might be required to display on a job, a, uh, an ability test that's been designed bespoke for a particular role serves to provide the potential applicant with a view of what the job could entail so they can decide if they want to do it or not. Um, just now we're designing something for people at a well-known retailer, home furnishings retailer, and the reasoning tests are going to show the type of mental arithmetic you're going to need to do on the spot with customers when working out room dimensions. And that could be the kind of thing that's a real turn off for some people. Um, other reasons for designing bespoke. Um, I guess you can, you can, you can balance best practice with, uh, I guess, pragmatism. And what do I mean by that? I mean, I guess what I mean is that you might find a wonderful personality questionnaire out there that uh, is available off the shelf, takes 40 minutes to complete, and has got a uh, kind of wonderful um, kind of decades of research into it. Now you might say, well, look, 40 minutes for my particular target group, no one's going to want to take 40 minutes to complete it you're willing to sacrifice some of that uh, decades of research um, in pursuit of something that's a little bit more user-friendly. Um, now, obviously that would need to be used with caveats, so you couldn't um, perhaps use it in the same way that you would the more well-used um, questionnaire or test. So you might not use it, oh wow, the sun's right in my eyes. Um, you might not use it as a hard sift. You might use it as a, uh, as a, as a guide for choosing interview questions, or um, you might use it as to kickstart a development discussion, but it wouldn't be used um, in such concrete terms. So I guess it's that that ability to take into account not just um, the uh, the, the uh, construction of the tool, but also its application and and setting the dial on on that uh, on on that to a way that suits you. Um. I guess there's a whole host of other reasons as well. You can customise the instructions so that um, you can encourage those from perhaps disadvantaged groups to feel like 
that they are encouraged to apply and do their best. You can include more example questions if you think that will um, be useful. And there's a lot of research in how the admin instructions can help to eliminate group differences. See Behavioural Insights team and Avon and Somerset Constabulary. Um, that can all be built into the custom psychometric for you. Um, what else? I think that's probably the main reasons why you might choose a bespoke psychometric. So more tailored, gives you the ability to um, design something with your end user in mind from the very start. Uh, it gives it something that's um, more face valid. I can't remember if I said that already. And um, it's something which, uh, which could measure a trait that, that you have a theory about or you have proof that works in practice, plus you own the IP. Okay, time to find my dog. Okay, he spotted something. Better go and catch him. Okay, bye.